Hey, what's going on with shipping? So a quick update here. I uh, want to show you the video of the track line of MV Dolly as it leaves the berth here at the Port of Baltimore. So here is Dolly. There will be two tugs, Bridget and Eric McAllister, that are going to come in and take the ship off the berth. You see its track line here as it heads out. I'm going to go ahead and let this play. I've got it sped up here a little bit so that you'll be able to see it go here a little bit faster than normal. Two tugs come in and they get the vessel off and the ship is going to head out into the track here. I'm going to pause it right here and we're going to go ahead and reset here. Dolly is coming down her track just as you expect. The two tugs leave her. Not unusual. We see that happen all the time. She is in the channel. Now, this channel is, is, can be used for two, two, two ships at a time, but they usually like to just do one. And so you see one ship. She is a little bit on the left side of the lane, just a little bit off center, but that is fine. She's doing about six, speeding up here to about seven, eight knots. Gonna go ahead and readjust. So here is the key bridge right here. And this is where I wanna kind of get this coincided with what's going on. All right, on the left is marine traffic. On the right is the live feed that we have from the Port of Baltimore. Okay, I tried to sync this up the best I could. The videos are not running at exactly the same moment. But this is the moment that we see Dolly lose power. She goes dark in the video up here. She is out without power at this time. You see the vessel is progressing right here at about 8.5 knots and she's heading for the key bridge at this moment. And again, one of the things that we're not sure about here is what is causing the power outage on the vessel. Uh, is it mechanical? Is it computer? Is it fuel? We just don't know, but the ship goes completely dark. And let me be clear, the worst feeling ever on a ship is to lose power. Everything gets quiet. S silence is the enemy on a ship. That means everything has gone wrong. So here we see the vessel coming out. It had just come from the secret terminal, which you can see right behind it. Uh, secret, she was actually up on this berth right over here where the cranes are, uh, just underneath the center part of the bridge, uh, and she's coming down. So she's still progressing down. She's doing about 8.5 knots at this point and she is coming down the channel. Now, I got this playing at basically real time. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and speed it up here in a minute, but I wanna get to the point where she will get her power back on. And as she progresses, we'll see the lights come back on with the vessel. Now, at this moment, there's a big question about whether or not the ship has rudder control. This is the key thing. If the ship does not have rudder control, then the ship is careening out of control. There's nothing you can do. Uh, the ship would have an anchor ready to drop. You would have a crew up on the bow, but the question is, is that crew still there? Are they standing by? They should be in place until they get out past the bridge and the channel. There is a Maryland Bay pilot on board advising the ship's master. Right at this moment, hopefully, they're calling out uh, issues on Channel 16 and the other hailing channels that they'll be using to tell them to be aware. They will have portable radio, so they don't need the ship's radio. Here you see the power come back on the vessel. So now uh, Dolly has power back on. She is starting to drift. If you look at uh, marine traffic here, she is starting to drift toward the uh, south side of the channel at this point. So she is beginning her movement. Remember, this is a vessel that is about 100,000 tons. So a substantial size vessel, it will have a lot of momentum on her. And if they had lost power, then the rudder would not be answering. So wherever that rudder was, even if the rudder was dead center, it's not providing any maneuverability because you have torque from the propeller. The propeller is gonna to wanna to twist the ship. Now we're seeing smoke belching out of the, the ship. Here's the smoke coming out. What we tend to think is this is the ship starting to back down. Uh, they will try to get way off the ship. And that's going to be an indication we're going to see here if the ship begins to slow down. 
So I got it running now. It's a little bit off sync. Uh, it's just not quite uh, chime, uh, timed in exactly. We're lagging behind on the video. But what you do see is the ship is starting to lose way. It's starting to come off. It's down to 7.6 knots. Now the ship is coming out of the channel at this point and still has a lot of way on. That could be just a little bit of loss there by maneuverability. We know she drops her port anchor. We just don't know when she drops the port anchor. And again, more black smoke coming out of the vessel. This is either an engine failure or the, the issue of the ship trying to uh, back down. And then you have the strike up against the bridge. That's where you see the speed come off to about 1.5 knots there. And on the video, you will see the ship. There'll be a big splash in front of the vessel as it hits that piling. And you'll see the uh, uh, collapse of the pier. You're still seeing black smoke emanating from the vessel at this point. Uh, the ship has basically come now to a full stop at this point on terms of its maneuverability. It's still showing a little bit of way on because of the GPS. Uh, it just takes a while for AIS and GPS to get in sync with that. And this is the moment of impact that we will see here. Uh, about 1.28 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, four-hour difference between UTC. See a big splash there as the pylons hit, and then you have the, the bridge collapse. So that gives you a kind of a play-by-play -play there on marine traffic as it goes on. This is current marine traffic right now. You'll see vessels that are on scene here, Coast Guard cutters, tugs, and barges. And if you zoom out here a little bit, uh, I'll show you the impact this is going to have. So that's the Patasco River. That's the river heading up into the region. All the ships that are now in Baltimore are trapped in Baltimore. They cannot get out. Uh, that means that vessels that are in there are going to have to wait for the key bridge to be cleared. And obviously that's going to be a long uh, prospect because of the casualties associated with it. You have vessels just below the Bay Bridge here waiting to get up into Baltimore. Uh, a lot of these are container and bulk carriers waiting to get in. So they're going to have to either divert or go somewhere else. And if you go down the Bay even further, there is a larger anchorage right at the very southern end of the Bay for ships heading up uh, into that region. So this is a obviously developing situation we're going to keep monitoring it and and let you know sorry for the kind of haphazard issue here but it's hard to coordinate this a little bit and get these two systems working right i'll work on a better video that will uh kind of more seamlessly put it together but this is just some quick dirty news right now as we go forward uh stay tuned to what's going on with shipping follow me on x at mercogliano s for any further information